Hey guys, welcome to Programming Knowledge. In this video, we will be looking at conditional statements. So what are conditional statements? What are conditions basically? Conditions are those set of rules which define a particular procedure to be followed. So what do I mean by that? Let's take an example. Suppose you want to sort out all those files which you created yesterday from the C drive or from the desktop. So the way we do that is we take all the files, we look at the date when it was created and then if it matches yesterday's date, we put that inside a separate folder or else you leave it or you put it inside another folder, that doesn't matter. So our only focus is we are putting those files which were created yesterday into a separate folder. So when you're checking whether the date matches or not, you're actually performing a conditional operation. So that is what conditional operators or conditional statements do. So conditional operators work like if something is there and you need to follow some procedure uh, or else you need to follow some other procedure which may or may not be defined. If it is not defined, you need, need not do anything. If it is defined, you need to follow that procedure. So it is like if something, then you do something. So do procedure one, suppose, and then else what you need to do, do, do uh, procedure two or you can leave it, right? This does not need to be defined. So this is not important. What is important is this condition. This condition, if that something is satisfied, then only you need to do procedure one or else you need not do anything or you need to do some other set of statements which are defined. So that is how conditional statement work and the same goes with C++ also. So the way you define conditional statement is you put an if and then inside a pair of parentheses you put a conditional statement and here you have a block. So this block is different from this block. Here I'm writing it. So this is if block. So this executes only when that condition is satisfied and then if this condition fails in our example suppose some other file came up which was created one year ago so what you need to do you need not do anything or else if you want you can put it inside another block that is up to you so do that as else if that condition fails you have another block you need to follow this particular procedure so this set of statements or this set of rules execute only when this rule is true or this conditional statements evaluate to true or else it follows this else block. So the way you define conditions is by using operators called relational operator. Relational operators just give the relation between two operands. So these are same as the mathematical relations. You have a greater than, you have a less than, you have a greater than or equal to less than or equal to and then you have an is equal to this is is equal to so do not get confused with the single equal to sign we use so by declaring variables i told that int a equal to 10 means a holds the value of 10 so this single equal to operator is known as the assignment operator and this double equal to is the is equal to operator so the difference is when you tell a equal to 10 and a equal to equal to 10, this means that assign the value 10 to a. So this is what this statement means. And this statement means compare a and 10 and check its equality. So this is what it means. So this double equal to means that you, you will take the value of a, you will take 10, you will compare it and if they both are equal then you say it's true or else you, you tell that it's false. So this single equal to operator just means that you put this 10 inside this memory location a, that's what it means. Here under point notice 10 equal to a is an error. So here even though mathematically both these statements are same, 10 equal to a cannot be processed because the computer always wants the left hand side to be memory location. Whatever the right hand side is, it can be a memory location, it can be a constant value, it can be anything. So whatever it is, it has to go into the left hand memory location by using this operator, which is the assignment operator. And this double equal to operator can work either way. So even if you put 10 equal to equal to a, this is the same meaning. It takes 10, it takes a value of a, it compares it and if they are equal, it's going to tell yes or else it's going to tell no. So these are the operators 
and you have another operator this is double equal to which is is equal to and then you have a not equal to not is basically this exclamation mark over here this is not equal to so these are the operators you use to check the conditions so let us look at a quick program let us make some program let's say uh, to check whether the person is eligible to let's say drive a vehicle or not so for the legal age for driving vehicles is 18 years so let's check whether a person is eligible to drive the vehicle or not or else uh, put an vote or not whether he's an eligible voter or not we can do that so let's start by writing the input statements so first we ask the name enter the name he's going to enter the name you know name is going to be a string so string name i don't know the name that's why i'm going to leave it blank and i'm going to take in the name over here so cn name and now i'm going to take the age of that person so let's say uh, cr enter okay enter your age over here now i'm going to take the age as years so let us mention that also over here in in years something like that so i'm going to get the age in years number of years is going to be in integers so i'm just going to took an int age and then i'm going to get the age also right so now i need to check in condition so what is going to be the condition i want to tell that the user can drive the vehicle or put the oat only if it's above 18 years of age so way we do it is you put an if and then inside this pair of brackets you put the condition so the condition is if his age is greater than or equal to 18 or not you are going to check that and then if his age is greater than 18 then you put the statement right uh, let's say you are eligible to vote or drive a car something like that right he's eligible if he's greater than or equal to 18 he's eligible else you can just print sorry okay sorry you are not eligible something like that what we have done we have just taken the name we have taken the age we have compared the age and we are checking whether the age is greater than or equal to 18 or not so if he is greater than or equal to 18 or if he is a major you are going to uh, tell that he is eligible to vote or drive a car or any vehicle or else you are going to say that you are not eligible so that's how you do that let's try and execute this program so here let's say enter the name something like john and enter your age 12 so here it says sorry you are not eligible let me put a new line after this else statement so that you don't get confused with the compiler's output and here so let's say some other name um uh, let's say harry and uh, enter your age he is going to be 21 so here you can see you are eligible to vote or drive a car right so this is a simple program we have written so here you can also do another check right so suppose the person who is using a program is a naughty fellow he wants to uh, check the validity of your program suppose he wants to uh, do something like he wants to put negative integers or something so age is always positive right the way you do that is first you check whether the age is positive or not so the way you do that is if age is greater than zero if it is a positive number then only check it so all the statements go inside this right if the his particular age is legal then only you can check that right if he is providing some negative number you cannot check that so here i'm just going to indent this thing so that it looks nice uh, you also try to indent your program so that uh, you can understand what you are writing so this if is this uh, from this block to this block this is another if this is else inside this if block so all these statements are inside this statement or else you say um, see out please enter a valid age right 
so it is not valid minus pi is not a valid age right so you take only positive integers as ages and you're checking whether that age is 18 or not so if it is equal to or greater than 18 you're you're saying that you're eligible to vote or drive a car or else you're telling that you're not eligible so here now you can execute and try out this program it is better to execute after every uh, condition you write right because when you're writing a bigger program it is it will be a good practice to actually check when you're putting a condition so that validates your program even more faster and you will be able to easily debug your program so here let's say enter the name let's stick of some other name let's say jack and enter the age let's try something naughty now let's type minus 120 and enter so here it says please enter a valid age so you can have many checks like that so you can have uh, uh, so maybe he's going to enter some weird age like thousand years or two thousand years you can check that also the age should be less than thousand or less than two thousand something like that for that we are going to need another set of operators which i'll be talking in the next video but you can do that inside this if also so i can check over here also if age is less than uh, let's say what's the maximum age 100 right so let's say 105 or 102 maximum 102 so if it is less than 102 then only you need to execute these statements so control x and it goes inside this and let me indent this properly right so if age is less than 102 this or else you are again going to say the same thing so just control c and then over here inside this if you are putting is this else so that is how simple conditional statements are you are just going to play with conditions so here i am checking if it is a positive number and here I'm checking whether it's too big. If it is too big, I'm telling that please enter a valid age. And if it's too small also, I'm telling that please enter a valid age. And here, if it lies between the range of 1 to 101, because 102 is the maximum, right? So I put less than 102, which goes up to 101. And greater than 0 starts from 1. So from 1 to 101, it's going to check. And if that age is greater than or equal to 18, it's, it's going to say that you are eligible to vote or else it's going to say it's, you are not eligible. So that is how you perform a conditional check. So this statement which I have written inside an if. So I have written an if inside if. So this if is the main if. Inside this I have written this. And inside this I have written this if else statement. So this concept is actually known as uh, let me write somewhere over here. Okay, on the top I'll write. This is known as nested if. So nested conditional statements. So this is what this is called as. Now, if I enter a bigger value than 101, let's say 105 or 200, so that will say you are not uh, you are not entering a valid age. And even if I enter some negative numbers also, you are, it's going to tell that you are not entering a valid age. So that is how you play with conditional statements. You try writing a program which will segregate whether a number is odd or even or not. I know this is a very simple program. You will find it in the internet. But just try it on your own. So let me give you a hint. An uh, even number uh, when divided by 2 gives remainder 0. And uh, that's it. You don't need another condition. So this is the only condition you're going to give. You are going to take a number and then you are going to determine whether it's an even number on or an odd number. And this is the hint. So if an even number is divided by two, it it will give a remainder as zero. And then if it is an odd number, it's going to be some other remainder. Remainder is going to be one. So you can try that. You can try writing that program. In the next video, we will be talking about some other operators which we will be using in our conditional statements. So till then, happy coding.